Hey everyone. So today I'm going to make my own homemade avocado oil mayo. Um, I'm not sure if any of you tried the stuff you uh, can get at the store and I really, really, really wanted to like it. I've tried multiple brands and I just couldn't like it. And I always, I guess I always thought that making mayo was harder to make than what it really is. And we do eat quite a bit of it. And I just didn't like the uh, store brands that have, you know, the really bad oils and stuff. So I, I wanted to just take a minute and show everybody how easy mayo really is to make. Hopefully it turns out. Um, just a couple ingredients that you need. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix it together. The recipe uh, I have was shared to me by a friend and super, super easy. And I've read so many different um, mayo recipes out there where they tell you you have to have everything at room temperature or it doesn't work or you need special this or special that. And in my experience, I haven't, I haven't found that with, the, with this recipe that was shared to um, me by my friend Julie. So thanks, Julie. Love it. And what's so cool about it is you can, you can add any different flavors that you like to it, um, you know, different herbs and spices. So you can kind of customize it. I've added, you know, like some chipotle sauce and, you know, made it more of like a chipotle mayo before. But uh, today we're just going to do plain old regular mayo and wait till you see how easy it is. So you definitely want to start with a jar that's a little bit taller uh, with a wider opening because we're going to use a, an immersion blender. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and you want to make sure that the, that the blender fits into the opening. And um, I am using, let me find it here, just the Chosen Foods avocado oil. Uh, I really don't know why that the store-bought tasted funny to me. Some people really like it. And um, I'm just using a Dijon mustard and some lemon juice I already squeezed. And then just a little bit of Himalayan salt. And, of course, my farm fresh eggs. Thanks, Pat. All right, so first, all we're going to do is crack the egg into the jar. Now, I, I didn't bring this to room temperature at all. Um, I just pulled them right out of the refrigerator right before I'm, you know, shooting this video. Uh, so we put the egg in first. Uh, I'm going to pour in the lemon juice. And let's see, i got a spatula here. My mustard. You can use a brown mustard, too, or if there's one that you like, you can add horseradish. Pretty much anything to this. Okay. So we have our mustard. And then salt. I'm just going to... And a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, so that's that. And then next, we're pouring in. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the hearts and the likes. Um, so next, I have three quarters cup of the avocado oil that I have measured. So you're going to add that in last. All right, nice and kind of slow. And we're just going to wait a second. I like the stuff to kind of settle. Let everything kind of settle to the bottom. And can you see that? So that's kind of what that looks like. Awesome. All right. Now here's where the magic happens. I don't know why I thought, you know, I've tried other mayo recipes before. And uh, they just, they really didn't turn out. And that was when I tried to, you know, make the everything room temperature and whatnot. So cross your fingers that this one turns out for me, guys. Okay, so next we just have an immersion blender. And we just take this and we push it all the way to the bottom. All right, so I'm not gonna talk while we're blending here, but you're gonna start to see the magic happen, okay? So then you slowly work your way 
up to the top of the jar. Look at this, guys. Can you see how creamy that is? Yay! It worked. So that's it. That's all it takes to make homemade mayo. So just a couple ingredients. And like I said, you can absolutely add in any herbs or spices that you like. Um, I'm just going to set that down and uh, stir this up a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Now, I used a, just the Dijon mustard. But look at that. How simple and easy that was to make. Um, I'm excited by this and it doesn't taste, I, I like it much better than the store-bought mayo, the avocado oil mayo. Um, I'm not sure why, again, the other stuff tasted so funny, but that's it. So guys, you can make your own mayo, only it takes a couple ingredients. Um, you don't have to buy the icky stuff, you know, um, filled with all of the weird soybean oils from the store. So hopefully um, you guys learned something by watching this today and how easy it really is. Uh, that's it. All right. Until next time, you guys have a great day. If you do, uh, I'll post the recipe that my friend had shared. I'll post it in the comments. So if you guys make it and you like it, let me know. I would love to hear from you. All right, guys, you have a great day. Stay safe. I think we have some not so nice weather coming back into uh, Wisconsin. So take care and happy new year. Um, all right. Goodbye.